The question, why do black men date other races after they get rich has been surfacing the internet and going viral? This man came with an explosive explanation and I can't help but to watch it. What's going on? I am going to tell you, as someone that is friends with a lot of D1 football players and D1 basketball players, I'm going to tell you because they have told me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Before I get into this, I wanna make it clear I'm only into black women. I'm just telling you what they have told me. My man said, bro, how many white women have you seen do the Meg Thee Stallion challenge? And he said, excluding the ones that think they're two shades away from being lied up. Huh? I said, probably only one. He said, okay. And I can't help but to agree. Five of my guys that play on Division One Power Five football teams, and they start. One of my men said, bro, I was messing with this black girl. She heard about the deal I got and started to request money. What? Apple Pays and Cash Apps for her hair and nails. Come on, I do better. I said, oh shit. My other friends were saying, bro, I would try to take her out to Chipotle, Cava, this and this and that. She would get mad talking about why are we going to steakhouses? You're good for it. Bruh. I said, oh shit. They were like, bro, the white women, they're down to go and get a cup of coffee, go, go and get some fucking ice cream. My friends were like, bro, the white women we're dating, they pay for a lot of our stuff. I said, what do you mean? They said, bro, they know that we're making some money, but while we're at practice or we're at camp, they got us our favorite Cava bowl, double chicken. Right? Waiting for them to come out of practice. Helping expand and grow the foundation of what he's trying to build. Become less of an expense. My friends are telling me these girls are getting their group projects done, getting their essays done, online tests done, on time. Damn! I said, wait, what? I said, bro, what about maintenance? There's no way y'all not pay for her hair, nails, bags, her lifestyle. He said, bro, first of all, my girl will get her own Starbucks and even get me one. But if I want to be nice, I'll get her something, you know, from Starbucks. And they were like, hair and nails? They don't even care about the nails, really. You know, and if they do it, they do it themselves. Sometimes I, you know, I pitch in and I was like, all right, what about hair? They're like, bro, she's white. She just brushes it. Pow. Oh! So Jesus Christ, you guys are saving a lot of money. These women enhancing their skills, not being an expense or a bill. This is what you call an asset. Being an asset is not a racial issue. Being an asset starts with self-worth. What is your self-worth as a black woman? What do you mean by that? If all you're going to ask for is a dollar and a good time, that's what a man is going to expect out of you. That was easy. At his wealthiest time, at his most beautiful opportunity of life, he going to bring you with him? <laughs> Your one job as a woman is to make sure you are the beneficiary of a man's greatness. If you can't do that, I don't know what to tell you. He ain't state nothing but facts. Facts on facts on facts on facts. And this first-hand information, this from his friends, that's high-value men, read it and weep. It's your boy, OG Cayano. For more content like this, like, comment, and subscribe. Yerp.